Ready? You unmute yourself. Yes, ma'am. Today's topic is percentage. Percentage. P E R per C E M T. Percentage. Vishal, my board is visible. Yes, ma'am. Cent means century. Century. The cent is the cent comes from the word century. Century means hundred. Okay. Yes. Okay. So in percentage, uh, we do all the things with hundred. We will multiply by hundred. We will divide by hundred. We will assume hundred. Okay, Risha. Yeah. Yes. So the first thing is how to convert fraction into percentage. How to convert? How? To convert and fraction like, to percentage, no? Yes. Fraction to, to percentage. Yes, fraction to percentage. How to convert it? There is a fraction. So, four four is, upon twenty-five into hundred. Uh, uh, yes, multiply uh, four upon twenty-five multiplied with hundred. How much percentage it is? One second. Um, into hundred. So, uh, sixteen percent. Okay, now the next is two by three. Two by three. What happened, Risha? Ma'am, so uh, this will be um. How do you solve this? You will multiply the same thing. We will multiply with hundred to make it a percentage. We always multiply by hundred to the fraction. It is two by three, and we need to we need to convert this fraction into percentage we will multiply this by 100 okay. multiply this by 100 what yes it will become 200 divided by 3 okay now yeah, yes this is still a fraction this is still a fraction now 3 yes uh, divide 200 by 3 you will divide 3 6 are 18 okay now two will go with yes. this zero again. Six point. You know, you know, na these things. Yes. answer. What will come when you divide two hundred by three? What will come? Sixty-six point six six six. Sixty-six point six six, and so on. I guess. Okay, Risha. Yes. So two by three means sixty-six point six six percent. Okay, Risha. Yes, ma'am. Okay, again one more. Uh Risha, you uh, there are tests running in your school, no? Yes. School is conducting test. Okay, you know any uh, any score of your test? Um, how much? Uh, how much score you got in your last test? Uh, last test in maths, I'd gotten twenty on twenty. Oh, okay. And in uh, science, science eighteen on twenty. Eighteen. Now tell me how much? How much percentage 
you got in your science test. Okay. The next fraction is 18 by 20. How much percent? And in French, come on. French also, I got 20 actually. Okay, and uh, what other subjects you have? Social? Social studies Social also studies. 20 on 20. Okay. <laughs> Why you have 18 in science? 18 in science, I lost in biology. Okay. And in the... And, and, and. And in English? English 18 on 20. Okay. What what uh, what other score you got out of 18 and 20? What other score? I had gotten 19 on 20 in computer. Okay. Now tell me how much percentage you got in computer and in science. Okay. You sure you are in sixth grade? Yes. The exam will be uh, finished on 10th of April. Uh, 13th. 13th okay. Mama found out. What? Uh, for science, it will be for science it will be 90 percent. What, 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 what? Yes, 90%. And for um, ICT, it, uh, for computers, it will be 95%. It is not 90 divided by 2. Yes, 95%. Okay, this is how we convert fraction into percentage. Now, now the next thing is how to convert Percentage into fraction. Percentage into fraction. Like you got 90% in your signs. Now tell me how much marks, how much marks you got. Fraction in fraction. 90%. How we will do the same thing. So 90 upon 100. Percentage yeah. is upon 100. 90 upon 100. Okay. Okay, and uh, you got 95% in computer. What fraction uh, come? Can you? Uh, 95 upon 100. Yes, 95 upon 100. Now I'm saying you got, not you, uh, just uh, you have a percentage into fraction. Now. Have decimal, how to convert. How to convert so that into 100? Yes, you have 0 0.3. Make it a percentage. Zero so that 3. is equal to uh, 30 percent. Thirty percent. Yes. Let's see. 0 0.3. We can write 3 by 10. Yes. Now this is the fraction. Yes. Again, okay, we need to make it a percentage. What we can do here? Multiply with? 100. 30. 30 percent. Okay? Yes. Now the thing is, if you have 0 0.3 percent. Now make it a fraction. You can see now 0 0.3 percent. 0 point, uh, that is 0 0.3 upon 100. So 3 upon 1000. Yes, 3 upon 1000. Into fraction. Uh, 3 upon. Clear, Nisha? Yes. The next thing is to convert percentage into decimal. percentage into decimal like if you have 34 percent 34 percent 
what we do 34 divided by 100 yes. 0.34 yeah acha yes now if you have 0.03 0.03% make it into a decimal number 0.03 divided by 100 yes now again 100 yes for the decimal place 1 1 2 3 4 1 2 0 3 1 2 3 4 Zero point zero 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 three. Yes. Okay. How to convert decimal into fraction? Decimal into percentage. Sir, what you are writing? Ah, uh, no, ma'am, the heading. to convert decimal into percentage if there is a decimal number 0.218 how to convert it into percentage what we do we multiply this by 100 100 and 21 put... 21.8% yes 21.8% clear things are clear yes. Okay. Now write if y percent of x equals to z. If y percent of x, I am saying y percent of x equals to z. Okay. Then y multiplied with x equals to divided by hundred equals to z. Always. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now come to I Bhatta. I Bhatta book. Ma'am, actually, I don't have the Arya Bhatta. Ah, uh, Arya Bhatta book right now with me. Uh, for this lecture. Then, then I will take the questions I have. Okay. Okay. Risha, what what does this mean? Y percent of x. Of means we need to put a multiply sign. Okay. Of. Y percent of x is z. That means y multiplied with x upon hundred equals to z. Equals to z. Yes. Are we right? This okay. That means that means x equals to x equals to z upon y multiplied. If they ask how, uh, find the value of x only. Find the value of x. We put hundred to the numerator. We will multiply the z by hundred. And this will go in the denominator. Here, yeah, this is multiplied here. Okay. When uh, this changes its side, it will go in the denominator. Take on the other side, divide. No. Yeah. Clear, clear, Isha. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Now write down thirty-five percent of one sixty. Thirty-five percent of one sixty. Thirty-five. Ma'am, this is uh, from the Arya Bhatta book, na? No? I don't know. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Plus sixty percent of eighty. Where you left your Arya Bhatta book? No, ma'am. Actually, it is on my computer, but right now I'm on my phone because my computer is rebooting. Okay. Is 
what percent of a uh, of three one two three hundred and twelve? The question is. You can see this. Yes. The question is thirty five percent of one six plus sixty percent of it is what percent of three hundred and twelve? Okay. Now, thirty-five percent of one sixty. How are we gonna write this? Thirty-five upon hundred. Uh, remove the sign. We will put hundred in the denominator and multiply with one sixty. Off means we just gonna multiply things. Okay. okay. Plus sixty upon hundred multiply with eighty equals to let that be x. X upon hundred of three hundred and twelve. Tell me the answer. Vishu, why you missed yesterday class? Ah no, ma'am. Actually, I had a headache yesterday. What's your age, Vishu? Hi, uh, I'm eleven. Okay. Uh, I'm getting headaches. Mm. It's not a good thing, Risha. Okay. Focus on your diet. What you ate yesterday? Sorry. I don't remember anything junk. Huh? No, yesterday I had garlic bread. Yeah. Start doing exercise. Vishya, our next yes. session will be on uh, Thursday. I don't know. I have to ask my mama. The next session will be on Thursday. Yeah, mama say yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't know, mama. Yeah. What? Okay, we we will discuss it later. Okay. I'm so wait, wait, wait. One last step is left. How you are doing, Nisha? Huh? How you are doing? Solving the first term, then second term. That's how. Good, I think. <laughs> Good. Now you need to uh, solve the first term. हैं X upon hundred equals to three one two. That means we will multiply this by a hundred and we will divide the whole by three one two. Yeah, that's what I'm dividing right now. Okay. But 
we will go. Um, ma'am, I got two six zero zero divided by sixty three. Then what? more have to simplify. What? 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 Ma'am, I I got two six zero zero divided by sixty three. I have to simplify more, no? Fifty six plus forty. Ma'am, fifty six plus forty eight. Ha, plus forty eight. Okay, sorry. Forty eight. Total gum. There, I got one hundred and four. Okay. Yes. Three and three six. Okay. One. Five six. No, ma'am. It will be one twenty six. No, divide by two then. One twenty six. One twenty six. Three one two will become. What you are saying? One twenty six divided by. No, I am saying that when we simplify by two. Huh? Then uh, three one two will become uh one twenty six. Uh, one twenty six. Two ones are two. So two ones are two. It will become eleven when one goes to yes. this. Two fives oh, are ten. Oh no it, no 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 no. Huh? The answer will be. Um, these are six one six thirty six one two zero zero. Ma'am, then one three zero zero divided by thirty six. What is it? Is a mistake. Answer should come hundred divided by three. Then one three. Ma'am, so uh, but what to do after one hundred divided by three? Make it in decimal. Or hundred uh, divided by three, we can write thirty three is two one by three. Okay, thirty three point three three and so on. The answer is ten. How you wrote thirty uh, three one by three? Oh, that means it. Hundred divided by three. That was a mixed fraction. Okay, thirty-three uh, is to one by three. When we divide yes. like this, three threes are nine. One yes. ten. Three threes are nine. This is a remainder. Yes. Thirty-three. What is this? What is this? Uh, this is the quotient. Okay, this is quotient. Thirty-three. The remainder will go to the numerator and the divisor. What is it? Three. Okay. This will go in the denominator. The remain here always oh, comes okay. the remainder, and here what we are dividing with. Okay, and here okay. is the quotient. That's how a mixed fraction looks like. Thirty-three is to one by three. Okay. Okay. And how to solve? How to how to make it a, in a simple fraction? If you have that is thirty-three into three plus one upon three. No. Thirty-three into three plus one is thirty-three. One by three, you will multiply this by this, then add this. Okay, thirty-three multiply with three plus one divided yes. by okay, hundred by. Ma'am, in the um Arya Bhatta book, we have sums about population and all that. 
yes we are uh, coming to this population and all this you you have the formulas for them yes you went through with aryabhatta book ha huh? did you go through with that book aryabhatta book yes. that chapter book chapter percentage you have the formulas for the percentage the next thing is commodity population depreciation commodity commodity means or upon okay uh, so you don't have your iphone book now so you're going to write no. the formulas or uh, if you want i can dictate Okay. I'll start doing the question. We will do it in the next session. The questions we will do in the next session. Okay. The questions we will do in the next session. No, I'm asking. Yeah, there, there are there are twenty five uh, questions around, I guess. Yeah, twenty five. Not to possible 30. to do all the all the question in the next session. So start from question one. What is fraction equivalent to thirty two percent? Uh, Isha, be quick. Uh, convert thirty-two percent into fraction. Come on, thirty-two percent into fraction. Just one second, no, my mom. Oh. You just lay down, Isha. What are you doing? Be attentive. Ma'am, one second. My computer rebooted. My Arya Bhatta. Uh, my Arya Bhatta book is working. I have Arya book in my second phone. Ma'am, the Arya Bhatta book. Uh, Arya Bhatta book. Oh my God. Arya Bhatta book. Yes. <laughs> Yes, our Bhatta book. Page number twenty-two. Page number twenty-two. Yes. Read question number one. What fraction is equal equivalent to thirty-two percent? You can uh, you can do it easily. Yes, I think so. Question number two: What is fraction equivalent to one sixty percent? Easy. Yes. Question number three: What is decimal equivalent of zero point eight percent? Solve it now. Um, but uh, for the first one, the answer will be um eight upon twenty five. No. Yes, Vishal. Okay. Second question: What fraction is equivalent to one sixty percent? What decimal is equivalent to zero point eight percent? Yes. So A wala will be the answer. A wala, yes. 
Question number three. What is decimal equivalent of 0.8%? 0.8%. First, we will remove the decimal, then put 100 in the denominator. Need to make it in percent, uh, in decimal. Baba, solve the fourth one also. Good. Fifth. The fifth one. What decimal is equivalent to 5%? Uh, so that is equal to. We shall try not to use paper pen if you have question like this. Just do yes. it in your brain, okay? Okay. Try to solve without paper pen. Zero point you know, zero five. You, you know, you know this. In the five percent, need to make it in decimal. Five percent means we put. We need to put two zero in the denominator. So zero yes. point zero five. Okay. Next is question is. What decimal is equivalent to 126%? So, 1.26. Okay, question number seven. Decimal equivalent to 0 0.06. Decimal, they have asked, but we have a percentage sign. We need to shift the decimal Two points ahead. Two points yes, forward. So zero point uh, three zeros and one six. Yes, okay. Yes. And question eight. Eight. What is three upon four as a percent? So that is seventy five percent. How? Because um four into no wait. Need to make uh, need to make it a percentage three upon what is it four? Oh. Yes. So what we do here we will multiply this by a hundred. Yes. Okay. So it is three hundred by four. Now divide three hundred by four. Seventy five. Four. how do you know? Solve it now. Man, three upon four. Everyone knows. Three upon. For everyone knows it is 75, you are saying? Yes. Okay. Now tell me what 200. is 2 upon 7 converted into percentage. No. Okay, wait, 2 upon 7 yes. into 100. So 200 upon 7. Yes. Make it, it in percent. It will come in point, you know? Yes, in decimal. So... 200 divided by... You know, you know the uh, things like 1 by 5, how much percentage? 1 by 4. Okay, like 3 by 4, 2 by 3. This is 25%. This is 20%. Okay, I, I have not learned that. Okay. Everyone knows this. <laughs> okay. One by five. One by five days one. Just divide hundred by five. Hundred okay. by five. Five twos are twenty. It is twenty percent. One by four means hundred by four. It is twenty five. Uh, four twos are ten, and and it becomes twenty five. Twenty five percent. You will learn. Okay. We we'll start practicing. Question number nine. Question number 45% of 280 plus 28% of 4. Okay, you shall solve it in 20 seconds. Huh? In 30 seconds, okay. My tripod is not stopped. It's just
क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन ना क्वेश्चन और नाइन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन डूंग Isha, uh, your friends are also uh, preparing for the exam. I guess. Yes. They must be preparing, na? So you know the competition is high. Okay. Yes. You know everyone is following our book. Everyone, everyone, everybody is doing the same thing. Yes. So you need to be more quick to crack the exam. Every okay. everybody know how to solve these questions. Everybody, but you need to be more quick with your calculations. है ना? या मैं राइट? या एवरीवन इज डूइंग आर एफ हटा बोल दे आर ऑल प्रिपेयरिंग दे आर ऑल डूइंग मैम आई फिनिश द नाइंथ वन व्हाट्स द आंसर 252 ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर 10 2 एंड 3 अपॉन 7 um question number 10 which is largest 50 by 3% 2 by 15 0.18 or 3 by 7 what we need to do here we need to uh, make all them in the same format like uh, you can all make them uh, in decimal like 0.18 in uh, it is in decimal na so we will make all the three in percentage in per, in in percentage in decimal okay okay we can okay. Uh, we can make all them in percentage okay 50 by 3 percent then how do you know which fraction is greater which fraction is larger than the other 2 by 15 make it in percentage 200 by 15 Mm. And uh, I'll make all in fraction only. It becomes easy. Then how do you know which fraction is greater? But we'll have to make all the denominators same. All the denominators same. Ha. Huh. Other is percentage or decimal. Okay, I'm giving you a thing which isn't in your syllabus, but just. For your knowledge, like Risha, if you have fraction two by three, four by five, six by seven. Okay, yeah. if I'm writing this two by three, four by five, six by seven, the difference is one in the numerator and the denominator. The difference is one. The difference is one. Now, which fraction is greater? The Greater one will be the greater. Like the smaller one will be small. Okay. It ah uh, it follows only when the uh, difference is one. Okay. Okay. But when the difference is not one, is not same. This is two by three. Now this is three by seven. Okay. And ah uh, this is this. Let's take ah uh, four by nine. Okay. Now. There is the difference is one. Here is four, and here is five. The difference is not equal. Yes. So the first thing you uh, you know we need to make the denominator same. The other the other way, just cross multiply them. Three three is a nine. Seven two is a fourteen. Fourteen is greater than nine. Then between these two fractions, this one is greater. Oh okay. Okay, this one is greater. Now we know. If we have more than two fractions, then what we will do? Look, look, look. We have three fractions here, na? We have three fractions. Now we know that in these two fractions, we have the greater one is three. This. Yes. Now we will. Now we will do the cross multiplication between this and this. Three fours are twelve. Nine twos are eighteen. 
18 and 12, which was greater 18. So in these three fraction, two by three is greater one. Oh, okay. Okay. These are uh, tricks we can say in fraction case. But you have a uh, big numbers, no? 15 by 18, 50 by whatever. You have big numbers, no? So make it in decimal, then start compare. You have 0 0.18, 0 0.18, na? A number? Yes. Yeah. So make them all in decimal, then compare. It will be easier. The so if we want to do 50 divided by 3, then uh, uh, we'll three, have to one directly one. divide only. We will divide? We will directly divide only, you know? Yes, yes, yes. 50 by 3 into decimal. 1, 6, 16 point something, I guess. Sixteen point six 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 six. Okay, and yes. the is two by fifteen. Make it in decimal. Two by fifteen. Done, Disha? Yes, I'm on my last one now. Three minutes, zero, zero. Three, six, nine, five, zero. Disha, tell me, uh, which conversion uh, you can do more quick? Like, uh, we are making all them in decimal, okay? After converting uh, all them in decimal, we need to just compare them. But if we if we choose to convert them in fraction, then we need to then we need to compare fractions. What what will be easy? Comparing fraction or comparing decimals? Decimals. Decimals, na? Huh. So make choices smarter. Okay. You, uh, you have 0 0.18. One and yeah, so it comes uh, 16.6, 0 0.13, 0 0.18. Zero point one eight and zero point four two. So, which yes. is the largest? Is um fifty upon three percent. Zero point one six six. Zero point one three three. No, no, zero point one six six. How? Zero point uh, one three three and zero point one eight. 0.42. So 0 0.42 will be greater, na? Wait, wait, wait. I did something wrong in 50. Ach, I didn't do multiplication. I directly did 50 divided by 3. So 50 divided by 3 is... Okay. Oh, it is in percentage. So 50 divided by 300. Okay. So, um, five, uh, five divided by 30. Yes. One by six. Zero point one.
Okay, done. Read question number eleven. Sixty-five. Um, zero point one six six. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. Zero point one three three. Zero point one eight and zero point four two. Which one is largest? Uh, that zero point four two. Okay, so uh, the three by seven. Will be large. Next question. Sixty-five percent of a number is twenty-one less than four by five of that number. Find the number. We don't know the number here. Sixty-five percent of a number. Let that number be x. Okay. Sixty-five percent of x. Sixty-five percent of x. The next statement is is less is twenty-one less than Four by five, right? Four by five of four by five of that number of x. It is twenty one less. This twenty one less than this. If we add twenty one to this, they will become equal. Yes. Right. Yes. Sixty-five percent of x is twenty-one less than a four by five of x. If we add uh, to this twenty-one, they will become equal. Clear, yes. Isha? Where you are seeing? Clear. So sixty-five upon hundred multiplied with x plus twenty-one equals to four by. Four by five of x. Yeah. No, but how you got that? Read the statement again. Sixty-five percent of a number is twenty-one less than four fifths of that number. Yes. Ah, uh, find the number. So what's the problem? Sixty-five percent of a number hmm. is is less than is uh, is is less twenty-one of four four by five of the number. When we add twenty-one to this, they will become equal. I am saying this one is twenty-one. Forget this one. I am saying this one is twenty-one less than this one. If I yes. add twenty one to this, they will become equal. This yes. Plus twenty one less. So sixty five percent of x plus twenty one equals to four by five of x. Yes. Sixty five percent means sixty five by hundred. Okay. Okay. So make them. So four by five of x. Minus sixty five upon hundred of x, right? Yes. That's how we solve the algebraic equation. Need to put x entities one side. Yes. So yes. x in bracket four upon five minus six upon sixty five upon hundred. Yes. So we will take LCM of five and hundred. What will come? Hundred. I told you now when the When any of them is multiple of the number, yes, the number hundred is multiple of five, so hundred will come in the denominator. Okay, yes. Okay, so uh, we will divide a uh, hundred by five. Twenty, twenty four is a twenty four is a no. Eighty minus sixty five of x. Eighty minus sixty five is. Fifteen by hundred of x equals to twenty one. Need to find the value of x. So twenty one multiply with hundred and divide it by fifteen equals to x. Solve it. Is it clear? <clears throat> yes. Solve it. Solve yes. the fraction. 
three fives are this, three sevens are this, one B, one forty. Okay, Disha. Yes. Yeah. Question number twelve. Oh. Read question number twelve and tell me if you need help. Then we'll move to question number thirteen. Question number twelve is: What percent is one twenty of ninety? What no, percent no. is? No. Okay, you have thirty seconds on it. Uh, what percent is? One twenty of ninety. That's how we write. We need to find what is this percent of ninety. Huh? One zero to one zero. Yes. Three three is a nine. Three four is a twelve. Four. So four hundred by three. Yes. Make it in percent age. Ma'am, but there is an option four hundred by three percentage. Okay, so option A. Okay. Okay. Question number thirteen. What percent is five gram of one kg? You know, five gram upon one kg. You need to make them um in grams. One uh one kg is made of thousand gram. Yes, that's how we do. Yeah, thousand gram. Thousand gram. Okay, five gram out of thousand gram. Yes, so five upon ten, so one by two. Huh? Here so there's no option. Be uh, one by two. That means zero point zero five. Yeah, clear. Yes. So number fourteen. Uh, what percent is one twenty ml of three point five liters? So one twenty, uh, one. Ml three point five liter means three point five multiply with thousand. What three thousand five hundred? What six thousand five hundred? No, one twenty. Three point three thousand five hundred. Yes, yes. Question number. Question number fifteen. Now pay attention. Question number fifteen. If A's pay is twenty percent more than that of B. Then what percent of per pennies B's compensation? Not as much as that of A. You have the formula for this in the beginning of the chapter, but see how yeah, it. Yeah, I I need to by heart those formulas. You read. To by heart those formulas. Which formula? Those formulas at the beginning of the chapter. I need to by heart them. Look how this formula work. Look, look. If A is uh, A is pays twenty percent more than B, there are two person A and B. We don't know how much how much they're gonna pay. If B is hundred and I am saying this is twenty percent more, then it will be one twenty percent. Yes. They are saying A is A is twenty percent. More than B. Then, what the question is? How much? The question is, how much is B? How much percent is B less than A? I am saying this is twenty percent more than B. A is twenty percent more than B. Yes. Then how much? How much is this less than A? Twenty percent? No. Yes. No. No. Not twenty no, no. percent. No. Twenty penny. Ah, oh, okay, twenty penny. But this is twenty penny more than B. Yes. This is twenty percent more. Then this is how much percent less? You know this one is less lesser than this yes. one. How yes. much percent? How much? Twenty. Yeah. No. 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 How? 
to this 120 we are comparing with this yes. we are comparing with this this is 20 more than what then b then 100 this is 20 more now i am asking this is what percent less than a now we are comparing this to this 120 now we need to find 20 upon 120 percent okay okay when i say when i say a is 20 percent more than b here 20 percent of this 20% why, of, have we, why have we taken 120 and 20? I'm explaining. I'm explaining. Listen very carefully. The first case. What is the first case? A is 20% more than B. More than B. 20% of what? 20% of B. How much we have? 100. That means 20% of 100. Yes. 20% of 100 is 20. We all know that. Yeah. Clear? Is it clear, Risha? Yes. yes. The first statement is A is 20% more than more than B. So we take 20% of 100. Okay. Now the things have changed. I'm asking how much percent B is less than A? How much percent B is less than A? We will take the 20% of this. We know yes. that the difference is 20. But on what basis? On a is basis. Make it clear in your mind how, how we compare them. I am saying I am saying A and B. B markers. Okay. The thing yeah. is okay, forgot this. If I say a is 20% 20% more yes then b we huh. know we have 100 we know that we have 100 yeah. so 20% of what suppose if if b has 200 okay, okay. 20 now we take 20% of 200 which i can't see you now, now we take 20% of 200 yes Okay, 20% of 200 will be 40. So how much are you going to have? 240. 240. Okay. Now I'm saying, now the question is, now the question is, it has 240. Okay. It has yes. 200. How much percentage, how much percentage no. B is less than a 20 percent no no now now we are comparing with a the difference is 40 we know that the difference is 40 difference is 40 yes. now what percentage b is less than a now we need to see a here we need to find 40 upon 240 here okay okay 40, 40 upon 240 into 100. 100. Yes. So 100 by 6, that means 50 by 3. three. Okay. okay. Yes. Again, I'm explaining another example. Make it clear if A is A and B, how much percentage it is? Greater than B is not the same. This is less than A. Not the same. Yes, ma'am. If A is 20%, now I'm saying if A is 
fifty percent, forty percent, let's say, more than B. Then, how much percent B is less than A? According to this line, means B A is forty percent more. If B has hundred, then A must have one forty. How we add them? Should I uh, unmute yourself? Yes. Okay. How how we calculated this? Forty so percent of this. So forty upon um one forty no, no, to two hundred. We I am saying A is forty percent more than B. Yes. More than B. We see how much we we how much we are having hundred. Yeah, so forty percent of hundred. Forty percent of hundred, right? Forty percent of hundred. When we add forty percent of this into this, this is 140. the amount we gonna have one forty. Now yes. I am asking. Now I am asking, how much percentage B is less than A? Than A? A say how how much is how much is small? How much is Less the B is. We are comparing it with A now. Yes. How much percent? How much percentage of it? How much percentage of A? Not B. How much percentage of A is less than of B? How much percentage? We know the difference is forty. So then now we know forty upon one forty into hundred. Yes. 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 Clear. Yes. This will come in fraction or in decimal. Clear. Risha. Yes. Now come to the question. Question number sixteen. Number sixteen. Come to. Commodity population depreciation. There, uh, there's the theme commodity. Read that page number twenty one. There's a term commodity. Page number twenty one. If the price of commodity increase by r percent, then the reduction in consumption so as not to increase the expenditure is r upon hundred plus r into hundred. This was the same thing. What we did. What happened, Isha? Getting bored? Huh? Bored or you? No, my mama asked me something. Okay, Isha, we will end the session here. We uh, read read this term commodity. R upon hundred plus R into hundred. R upon hundred plus R into Hundred. This was the formula I was talking about. Uh, what was the term? Was is twenty percent more. Okay. You remember the question? Twenty yes. percent more than twenty upon hundred plus twenty into hundred. Twenty upon one twenty into hundred. According to the formula. Okay. Yes. Clear. Yeah. Question number where we were? Uh, we were on fifteen. Question number fifteen. Question number sixteen is same. If A salary is twenty five percent, not as much as that of B, what number of per penny is B's compensation more than that of A? You can solve it by the formula. Okay. Okay. There will be hundred minus R. Read the uh, read the uh, term commodity and start doing these question. Finish up. The rest of them we will uh, do in the next session. Okay. Any question? Any doubt, Risha? No, ma'am. Okay. Bye, ma'am. Thank you. Bye.